Three things to remember when changing a belt on a finger sampler. Number three, and maybe most importantly, make sure it's unplugged. Number two, find your tension release. And on this one, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's way up in there. It's inside the dust port. So I'm gonna pop the dust port off of here and set it aside so you can see the button. There it is. There's the tension release button. So when I press this in, this piece compresses, allowing me to get the belt up over the sander and maintain tension. And number one, you've got to get it on there the right way. Look for the arrow. See the arrow right there? That's gonna tell me that it needs to go the direction of the turn. Here is the direction of the turn arrow on this machine. It's telling me that the arrow needs to point that way or this way. So let's find the arrow again. All right, there it is. See the arrow? So it needs to go the direction of, so the belt is gonna spin this way, just like this is showing us the machine spins that way. So we've got our three details in place. So now the how of it is to literally insert the butt end of it up against the gear here. Pull this up tight on this end. Reach around and find that tension button. Press it. And now we can compress. Ooh, this easier said than done. Now we can compress this rod. Maybe once I get it started, there we go. Yeah, I can let go of it with the other hand. Push it up against my thigh and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. Okay, so uh, to recap on that one, once I got this pushed and started compressing this, I was able to let go of the button and get both hands involved up here, one pulling tight and pushing the, uh, the finger sander against my thigh and the other one working the, uh, the belt over the end. So three steps, three things to remember, unplug it. Number two, find your tension release place. And number one, get your belt on there in the direction of the turn. And there you go, new belt. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.